Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V. I'm RJ. We're here at the observatory. You can see the same exact eye symbol from the Chiliad mural shows up here by using the shadow of the obelisk. But you can only see it at the exact time. And that time just so happens to be the same time that you see the jetpack symbol at the Ultras Colt and the X symbol at the wind farm the sunset time so it's interesting how the sun is really pointing out that this time 1630 is really that exact time that you need to see a lot of the symbols from the Chiliad mural and it of course connects the observatory with all those locations as well but I'm not going to get into that in this episode in fact I wanted to talk about the aliens in regards to the observatory a lot of people probably do not think about the aliens in the observatory. I mean, you have all of the different planets. If you look at the courtyard of the Griffith Observatory, all of the shadows basically made up a huge dial to show you the different alignment of the planets in the solar system. But here at the Galileo Observatory, it only really lines up to one planet. You can see the different dials all the way around the courtyard. It kind of makes up a huge circle if you look at all the different plates that are surrounding the obelisk and really that all connects to the shadow itself it's really deep even though a lot of people don't pay attention to the observatory too much and this obelisk but as you can see the way that it is making up the same shadow of a symbol from the mural it just shows you how important this obelisk really is and what if i told you that this obelisk is a sign of alien life now many of you know obelisks because they are in front of pretty much the most important buildings in many of the more popular cities in the world, such as the Vatican, New York City. Check out some examples, and then I'll let you guys know why this could be showing us that the aliens are in control. The obelisks of Egypt defy logic. They are made of solid granite, which is a very hard stone. It's easy to understand how large limestone buildings could have been constructed, since it's a much softer stone. But how these red granite structures were really built thousands of years ago continues to be a mystery. So for some reason, one of the most important icons from ancient Egypt is now representing the most important locations around the world. You can see this one is in the center of the Vatican City, that place is the central command for all of the Catholics around the world. So what's up with that? How come the Catholic religion, as well as some others that will show off, use the same symbolism as the Egyptians? Here's the Washington Monument, the first president of the United States, and he is represented by an obelisk. Some people say that the obelisks are marking out different locations of energy, kind of like Stonehenge, and Mount Shasta, which is Mount Chiliad in GTA 5, but I also hear that it has a lot more to do with gods and a lot more deeper meanings from ancient Egypt. So perhaps the obelisks around the world, especially the ones in GTA 5's observatory, have some deeper meaning as well. I will point out that when it comes to the Egyptian symbolism, it's not just about the obelisks. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of pyramids, if you go to some of the oldest buildings in Washington, D.C., they have secret basement levels. And in those basements, you can find tons of Egyptian relics. And that is because they know that the Egyptians were onto something. And with many of you thinking that the aliens possibly built the Egyptian pyramids, maybe that is not as crazy as it sounds. And perhaps there's even proof that these obelisks go a lot further than Earth. There's a few obelisks in Grand Theft Auto V, including this very well hidden one at Franklin's aunt's house. But it still remains a mystery if the aliens are real or not. Is it just a hallucination by Michael? The only aliens that you see are the same ones at the movie studio. So is he just dreaming? Is it maybe something from a movie that he watched one night while he was drunk? But at the same time, the biggest hidden Easter eggs in the game are the UFOs. So you think that those UFOs are indeed real aliens, except for the fact that they have FIB on them. But the one thing that I look at, of course, is some of the different movies and proof of Los Angeles aliens. You have Battle LA, 
and that is based off of a real life event. So with all the connections to real aliens in Los Angeles, it's only right for Rockstar to represent them here in the game. If you remember in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, that is really the first time that Rockstar started leaning towards aliens in the GTA games. Once it went to Grand Theft Auto 4 and Liberty City, aliens were completely out of the equation. So it only makes sense that they bring them back here in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, if you looked up at the stars, you could sometimes see something flying by. It was most likely a UFO, but in this game, they're of course a lot more physical. You can fly up to them and they can even turn off your helicopter. But that's pretty much it. So are they real? Are they not? When it comes to the obelisk, that particular symbol, I think that could be the one that's telling us that the aliens are real, guys. Let's look at a potential obelisk on a moon of Mars. There's a big reason why Mars is looked at as so mysterious. There's some crazy formations on it, including a face and an obelisk. And on the Martian moon Phobos, you have a monolith. Everything around the monolith is completely flat, and it raises pretty high off the surface, which is proof to many people that this was built by somebody or something. And a lot of people believe this has something to do with the energy, just like the obelisk possibly a way for them to send energy signals throughout the galaxy, maybe throughout the universe. So if you have similar structures built on other planets and other moons of these planets as the things that we see here on Earth, that could be definitive proof that the aliens have visited the Earth before, and hell, maybe even we are the aliens. So with the ancient Egyptians worshipping the obelisks, as well as other ancient cultures like the Mayans, and those same cultures being rumored to know about their alien origins, it's pretty interesting how the modern cultures continue to worship these same exact symbols, including the most prominent figures from throughout the world, like at Washington DC and the Vatican City. And then you have this obelisk here at the heart of the observatory in GTA 5. This place is designed for all the planets and the stars of the universe, but the obelisk, which represents the aliens, is what's in the center and this obelisk does cast the same eye symbol from the Chiliad mural which shows you that the aliens are really involved in it all. Once again guys these UFOs that can be found here in Grand Theft Auto 5 for now are the biggest easter eggs that we have. They don't really do anything they just sit there but it does show you that the aliens are aligned with the Chiliad mystery and I'm sure there's still something huge that we need to decipher as far as these aliens being real or not. Catch you guys very, very soon. Make sure to stay tuned. We have another Chili Ad Mystery episode coming up for you guys. And of course, we have plenty of live streams. So hit the notification button so you don't miss anything here at Trippy Commentaries. Hit the like button. That really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And more importantly, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.